you know, with billions of potential combinations of clinical trial inputs, the future of drug development will become increasingly more agile, meaning we'll design our studies in the most optimal way to accelerate recruitment as fast as humanly possible, ensure the greatest level of compliance and efficacy in our execution with the aim to produce the highest quality data. So this will mean that some studies will follow a more traditional site-based approach, while others will follow a more new order decentralized clinical trial path. But more often than not, we're gonna be using a combination of traditional and decentralized methodologies to achieve our goals. The future I think is, is bright because we've applied, we've been able to apply technology through this pandemic that really we probably would have taken us another five to 10 years to do. So in that way, the, the COVID pandemic has been a huge opportunity and a huge benefit, I think, to drug development going forward. I think technology, we stand on the cusp of a huge technological revolution whether it be in natural language processing, in artificial intelligence, in virtual reality, uh, in cloud computing. There's a number of aspects there that really move us forward and I think give us the opportunity to develop drugs in a much more effective and efficient manner going forward. I have been humbled to be a part of this industry actually going on um, 30 years. We're seeing a convergence of clinical care and clinical research and in particular, how to bring those trials uh, directly to patients in the communities. And of course, we, we're all very focused on diversity and being able to provide the ability to deliver decentralized trial services right in the community and helping to ease that burden on our investigators and patients. I'm most excited about clinical research and thinking about the increased impact on patient health care which is why all of us are in this business to begin with. We think about some of the innovations and, and trials and the impact that that has on patient outcomes. And, and then all of the trial innovations and technologies that CRO member companies and technology companies bring to bear to accelerate that drug development process to get those therapies uh, to benefit patients faster. That's what I'm most excited about. I'm excited about what we do. I'm excited about the ability to participate in drug development across all therapeutic areas and to be able to um, look at these unmet needs with our pharmaceutical sponsors and just and figure out how to get it all done faster and, and impact mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters. That's what gets me up in the morning. I, I'm excited about the prospect of, of being able to have that impact on public health. Prior to the pandemic, you know, we were focused obviously on modernizing clinical research. Now we're in, now we're in that. We're really making those changes that are really focused on, I think, a more patient-centric approach. And what I mean is by bringing clinical research into patient communities, really thinking about clinical research with more optionality for patients. So I think we're going to see an exciting period of development for clinical research organizations and technology companies where we are partnering together even more than in the past where we're bringing innovation together more quickly, and where we're partnering and being a voice to regulators to make sure that we're working together uh, to bring clinical research to patients you know, more quickly. So I think it's an exciting time to be in drug development.